We've arrived in North Wales, Magellan Aerospace. We're here to interview Adrian Young, Operations Manager, to discuss the Starag Echo Speed Machines. MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Adrian, thank you very much for the invitation here. Can you tell me a little bit more about Magellan? Okay, uh, what can I say about Magellan? I've been here 15 years, I've joined the company in 2001 when it was a small family-run business, uh, largely an offload company for Airbus in Broughton. And over the years, I'm really proud to say I've seen it grow enormously and change in its nature. Um, when we walked through the factory, you could see that some of that development and we find ourselves now in our newest um, iteration, our newish machine shop, with some of the modern state-of-the-art machines that we've, we've purchased to move ourselves up the, the technology chain, as we find we have to as the world moves on to produce high quality aerospace components. So with the investment that you have here, uh, obviously you're doing a lot of work for, for Airbus on the wings and, and also on, on the fuselage. Can you tell me a little bit more why these machines behind you have helped you become one of the best tier supply chain to Airbus? Okay, well part of Magellan's strategy is to move into higher tech components. And here at Wrexham we make the large components for the group. So anything from 4 metres up to 22 metres is what we machine here at Wrexham. In order to stay at the front of that we have to invest in technology. The, the lower cost economies are, are in there doing the smaller parts for us and are very competitive. So we have to have the latest equipment and the, and the most cost effective equipment as well. We don't just buy the most expensive equipment around. And DST for us provides provides one of the solutions. It's a large machine. These machines are 6 metres by 2 metres long and they and they machine large aerospace components and they have to machine them to a very high quality as well we're talking about 0.1 of a millimeter tolerances over these these components and we've got to machine them in a very high speed the echo speed's really a, a big step change for Magell and Wrexham and what we have is a machine here that takes roughly a rough billet of about four tons and it basically ends up at about 1,140 kilograms in weight when it's finished. Uh, we machine quite a lot of the Airbus products on the part. Um, this machine is 120 kilowatt spindle on the machine, it moves at about 50 meters rapid. Um, when they first started the Echo Speeds, they were done by DST, now they've been taken over by Starag, and the machines moved forward quite a lot since Starag took over. The spindles now vary from 80 kilowatts up to 120 kilowatts and they're about to produce 150 kilowatts. Um, also the metal removal rate that we remove on the machine, historically we used to remove about 5 to 6 cubic litres per minute, now we remove roughly about 10 cubic litres a minute of material, so obviously the roughing cycles have reduced to about 50%. Normally a part of this size on other machines might have taken 30 hours to machine, Roughly now we're down to a cycle time of about 15 hours for the four, uh, for the four ton material removal rates. Uh, the accuracy of the machine is incredible. It's got a pivot head. It, remove, it uh, rotates to 45 degrees in any direction. Um, there are programmers dream to program where you've got the pallet that moves, the head's fixed. Um, lovely machine to program for. Accuracy is brilliant. And this machine that's just behind me at the moment is the latest echo speed you can buy from Starag at the moment. It's an F2060 machine, a uh, fantastic machine. It's really the Rolls Royce of aluminium cutting today. Now I'm looking at the machine in the background and the accuracy and how it moves, that must be such a big advantage. Yeah, it's a, like I say, from a programming point of view, it's, it's a fantastic machine. It's been a step change again at Magellan on how we go about engineering parts, etc. It's got a 90 degree milling head on this machine and it has two angled heads which gives us full flexibility of a rotating cube really. Uh, it causes a few issues to the engineering point of view but yeah it is a Rolls Royce of machines. So when you're looking to invest in, in the next products here obviously Echo Speed is going to be on the, on the market. Uh, I think Echo Speed is always on the market. It's uh, like, like I've said again and again it's the Rolls Royce of machines. Um, you can buy a cheaper machine, but I'm a great believer you get what you pay for. 
these really are from a technology point of view they're a step ahead of the market at the moment they are the industry standard and accuracy wise the parts that come off we use long edges now to the, the machining of the parts we use rippers etc and it's just a complete step change in how we go out about machining aluminium With the type of parts that you're uh, working with, with Airbus, you know, technically it's got to be correct, but also the, the type of materials that you, you're working with, why do the echo speeds give you what, what you need from them? Okay, so, the, so these echo speeds are horizontal spindle. So with our components, we have a lot of pockets and we're machining aluminium, so there's a large amount of material coming out all the time. So the advantage of the horizontal spindle is that the swarf drops away all the time. On some of the older machines with vertical spindles, the swarf builds up in the pockets and we often had to stop and blow the swarf away or clear the swarf so we can carry on machining. But with the echo speeds, with a completely self-contained, the swarf dropping away, being captured, taken and recycled all in one operation. So we have very little human intervention, they're largely fully automatic machines. So also by buying these machines, obviously the, the, the investment, I presume that you're winning more work from Airbus? Oh absolutely. As well as winning new work, there's the existing programs that with the growth in the aerospace, that certainly the A350, the, the rate over the last couple of years has doubled each year. We're now running at, at six aircraft sets a month, where two years ago we were only making one. And by the end of this year we'll be making ten aircraft sets a month. So that is a huge amount of um, volume we're having to produce. So the reason we purchased our second DST ahead of the game earlier this year, we want to be ready for that ramp up in the market and get, get through all the prove outs and the shakedowns of the machines, which we've largely done. Now, both machines at full rate producing A350 and other aircraft components. So the investment that you've got with these machines has, has obviously given you the opportunity to grow. Um, what's, what will be next in line for Wrexham Magellan? Um, essentially for, for Wrexham is continue to invest in the technology. As you as we walked through the facility, you saw some of the older spa mills. Those are getting to the end of their life. We need to replace them. We need to, to grow with this business. We will probably expand the business again and invest in another couple of spa mills in the, in the next few years. Well, it's been a pleasure being here, Adrian. Thanks very much for your time today. Thank you.